I'll tell you what, downshifts in Corsa. What's a thunderous? Driving one of these really makes me miss mine. <laughs> what is up guys welcome to supercars of london and welcome to bahrain if you've been following me on my instagram stories you will know that i'm here at the bahrain international circuit where they've been hosting the formula one since 2004 however i'm not here for formula one I'm here for these cars behind. Lamborghini, you all know that I'm a massive Lamborghini fan. Always have been, always will be. My channel, ever since its existence, I have been an avid follower and fan of Lamborghini. I'm not here for the SVJ, and I'm not here for the Lamborghini Urus because this is a big moment. I've been invited for the first time ever to a Lamborghini International Media Drive on their latest V10 the Lamborghini Huracan Evo. 640 brake horsepower. It is an evolution of the ever successful Lamborghini Huracan. Today, I am going to learn more about the car. I'm gonna become Mr. Lamborghini, the Lamborghini connoisseur, and I'm gonna relay all of the information that I find out about the car and what makes the facelift the latest and greatest V10 super sports car from Lamborghini. So let's head inside, get some track time under my belt, get behind the wheel of this Huracan Evo, and then take it out on the roads of Bahrain to experience this V10 in the real world. Let's get it on. What's up? Fancy seeing you here. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Here we go. I've specifically asked for you to show me around the car and the track before we get into it because you are the man that is going to get the most out of this car. I'm going to enjoy the drive, but you're going to get 99.9% .9 out of the performance and everything that this car is supposed to be. We got this entire Formula One Bahrain International Circuit to ourselves. Yes! We'll start off in Corsa mode as it's su most suitable for yeah. uh, the racetrack. So Sounds good. You're all ready? Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> Just take a shortcut through the first corner. Do you just want 
to do the video. I'm just going to hand you the cameras. <laughs> no one wants to see me drive now. <laughs> what a beast! It oh. is, um, they've done something very, very special with this thing. It, it's, it's not just an aesthetic facelift. And that is what we're going to find out in this video. But I want to swap. I want to I wanna go now. Seeing... Oh my god, I'm so excited to drive this thing. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Oh my god. Woo! Well, that was an experience. Now it is my turn with Jerome in front of me in an orange car. And I think this is gonna be quite intense. So I'm gonna try and portray as much as I can of what I'm experiencing. All right, Paul. Yes. Now you've seen how it's done, it's time for you to show your knowledge of this track, of your Xbox practice laps. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to take you out for four laps, three fast ones, one cool down. I'll um, give you some hints on the gears, as, as you've seen, and then um, just uh, gradually go into it and experience this new Huracan Evo. Wow, i tell you what! Aero! and four-wheel steering working together. With 640 horsepower! Oh, that was auto. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This is so cool! Cats glowing in Jerome's hurricane in front. Who knows what's happening in this car? Oh, it's so fast! Oh, oh. I was nervous that they were gonna tame the Performante engine in the Evo. It's got a lovely V10 vibration through the rear of the seat. And it's lively. Yes, it's four wheel drive. But my God, can you feel it underneath you? <laughs> Jerome is telling me to hit Corsa. Let's go! Whoa! Shunts! Shunts on the upshift! Woohoo! Whoa! just jumped out of the Hurricane Evo and I'm now about to take it on the road to explain to you why this car is so special and why it's not really just a facelift. But Jerome just took me around the track. You showed me how it's done from the driver's seat and then I was following your lead around the track. Good fun, very capable car and very loud. I was thinking because it's the street version, the Performante is more track focused that they were gonna leave some of the sound editing out, but it's as loud as a car, which is really exciting for me. I mean, uh, the tagline of the car is every day amplified, and if there's one thing that's amplified, it's definitely the exhaust <laughs> noise. <laughs> Five 
finally, I am behind the wheel of the Hurricane Evo on the road in its natural environment. And I'm so excited because we are the only media wave that are allowed to take this car on the road. So I already feel honored and privileged to be one of the first people in the world driving a Hurricane Evo on the road. And Lamborghini themselves use the tagline, everyday amplified. What that means is they've taken the most everyday Lamborghini, the most daily driven Lamborghini, and amplified it up so that it is the most intense driving experience possible from a Lamborghini Huracan platform. And let's be honest, the 2014 Huracan now feels like it needs an update. Back when it came out, it was revolutionary. It was so far past what the Gallardo was ever to, able to achieve. But now, it is time that they updated things. And it is not just aesthetics that they have updated. I've learned a lot in the last 24 hours. And if you take the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, arguably a lot of people say that is the Huracan that they should have built. How do you perfect a car that is so close to perfection? Well, you give it a brain. Yep, this car has got a brain. The DLVI, which I'm gonna get onto, the Dynamica Lamborghini Vicciolo Integrata. Apologies for my Italian accent, but we will get onto the brain and its sensors and gimbals and the way that it reads driver inputs and vehicle surroundings every 20 milliseconds to create the ultimate driving experience, the human brain and a Lamborghini brain working in synergy to create that driving experience. Let's start with the design and the aero to the Hurricane Evo because Lamborghini didn't just want to create some aesthetic changes, they wanted things to work. They wanted to create the most aerodynamically efficient Hurricane that exists and they wanted to perfect it. So what you're seeing on the front bumper is not just a redesign, everything works. If we take a closer look, you will see that there are slits in the front spoiler there. We've got air curtains down here which can push air down the side of the car, but it can also push air to start cooling some of the main components. There is a lot of downforce happening on the underside of the car and working our way around to the rear, you can see that we've got a little spoiler that helps with air turbulence and also pushing the car down to squat, meaning that we get the maximum performance with aerodynamic efficiency. This car has got a 16% increase in engine cooling thanks to aerodynamics and is seven times more downforce than the standard Hurricane, meaning this thing sticks to the road and with everything that helps it alongside it, makes it a bloody good performer. But let's take a look at one of the most exciting updates that Lamborghini have done to the interior of the Hurricane, the center console. Normally, there are buttons there that can control the air conditioning and the climate control in this thing, but we have got a lot of info that we can take in. We've got track telemetry, meaning that I can load up the Bahrain International Circuit. I can have pro driver lap times up here, and then I can start pitting my throttle, my braking, my gearbox, my steering, everything has the information on this screen, meaning that I can really connect to, the, to this car's performance. Not only that, if you click vehicle, you can start getting into all of the different torque vectoring, all of the DLVI settings, meaning that you can start seeing everything working 20 milliseconds at a time, which is incredibly impressive. Obviously, we have got the media, we've got all of the air conditioning, which is blasting out as much as possible at the moment. We've got navigation, radio, everything. But one of the coolest features with this touchscreen, one of the niggles that I have with touchscreen center consoles is when you're driving, you're trying to look for buttons and they just don't exist on touchscreen. They work when you press them and they vibrate a little bit and giving you a bit of feedback through the fingers, but you can control the screen, the volume with two fingers to increase volume or decrease the volume or tap with three fingers to mute everything all together. There are all sorts of different multi-gestural techniques that you can use to control the system, meaning that you're not constantly looking for buttons that don't exist because it's a touchscreen, which is really important and I love it. <laughs> It is so raw through the exhaust. The interior cabin is quite loud. In Strada mode, it is very, very mundane. and You could be driving anything. It's that easy to drive. You can chuck your grandma in and she'll probably have a good time. But when you start putting it into Sport and Corsa, 
all of the little implements that are controlled by the brain, as you can tell, I'm loving the brain, all start working together. Another thing that Lamborghini have focused a lot of time on to perfect is, of course, the all-wheel drive system. One of the biggest flaws in the 2014 car was that it was a little bit understeery. This feels like it is a rear-wheel drive in tight spaces through the city. It is so agile and that comes down to four-wheel steering. The Hurricane finally gets four-wheel steering. The first time it's featured on a V10 car. The Aventador S obviously has it and it has had a huge improvement to that car. With this, which is already a super nimble car around town, when you really start working with the four-wheel drive, it is so incredibly impressive. And one of the incredible features around the all-wheel drive that Lamborghini have also focused on is torque vectoring, meaning that they can position any given amount of torque to any given wheel at any given time, which is one of the things that is monitored every 20 milliseconds, meaning that if a car is expected to turn at too much speed and you supposedly supposed to understeer, the car will start working with torque on different wheels to get you around the corner, even if you fail at getting the right balance with the speed and the steering input. Meaning that, I wouldn't like to say this, but you can be an absolute idiot on most tracks, and this car in the right mode will get you around the corners. Listen to it! <laughs> it is so much fun to bounce up and down the gears. It is so cool. The dual clutch gearbox is seamless and in Corsa mode, it really shunts you. But the gearbox isn't the last factor that Lamborghini are focused on. In fact, it is the Magno suspension ride system. It has got a super long name that I'm not even gonna bother to try and pronounce, which means that there are a number of sensors positioned around the car with gimbals that can calculate all of the different pitches and rolls that the car is having through corners on acceleration and everything works together with the torque vectoring to produce the right amount of torque for each position on the car. Combine that with the V10 engine, the brain, the aero and everything else that Lamborghini have packaged together in the Lamborghini Huracan Evo and it works seamlessly it works intelligently, and I am truly amazed at the experience that I've had today, enabling me to drive it on the track, drive it on the road, have a couple of laps with Jerome, who is one of the handiest man I have ever experienced behind the wheel of a car. I have learned a lot, and hopefully in this video, I have passed that knowledge on to you guys. So for those that had any doubts, that the Hurricane Evo was merely a facelift, but they'd forgotten to change the headlights and taillights. No, it is a much, much bigger project than that. And what excites me is the fact that this is just the starting block. This is now back to the standard entry level Hurricane. Forget about the LP610, that's gone. This is far more intelligent than that. It's far more intelligent than the Aventador's. Like, this is now the start of a new era with Lamborghini. And it has a factor that I can't even put my finger on. It is an absolute dream to drive, a pleasure to drive. It's engaging and exhilarating and a bloody cool car. And when I saw the price of this thing, I was a little bit worried that they'd price themselves out of the market being a little bit too expensive. But in fact, it's worth every goddamn penny. What a car and what a day. And I think it is the perfect way to end such an incredible video than have that in nuts V10 sound circulating around the Bahrain International Circuit. I would like to say a huge thank you to Lamborghini for inviting me out to my first ever international press drive. It has been awesome to get behind the wheel of that car and I cannot wait to start seeing them hit the road, start hearing them, and there is definitely gonna be a number of awesome specs coming to the UK. And uh, I don't know, maybe one day in the future, I return it to a V10, but 
parkness of the Eurus is as well very, very cool. And I believe that I'm heading to Lamborghini Pangborn in the not too distant future to collect a certain EV hires Lamborghini Euro. So stay tuned for that. Once again, huge thank you to everyone who has tuned in and watched this video. Let me know whether you've enjoyed this review style video. I think because it is such a new Lamborghini, it was the only thing that I really wanted to do. I wanted to demyth whether this was just an exterior facelift or whether it was a proper real deal Lamborghini Huracan and that is exactly what it is. I will leave you guys with the sights and sounds as night falls underneath Bahrain International Circuit. Thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you soon. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for more Lamborghini Connoisseur content. I will see you soon guys. Take care. Enjoy the flames. Goodbye.